Hey guys, it's Kevin. It is time for a brand new Photoshop tutorial. I am calling this one the ultimate guide to blending. This is a five hour long tutorial and it's going to go over all the fundamentals of blending and compositing in Photoshop. We're going to go over many different type of project files where we can change out the skies and replace them. We can blend our subjects into the background. We can do some surreal type of edits here that look very out of this world add some drama to our pictures, and even just change the background and create a very interesting uh, picture with lots of character. We can do some surreal edits uh, with our landscapes and our colors, and uh, we can also even change uh, the buildings and skylines. There is a lot to learn in this tutorial. All of the project files are included, the, uh, the stock images, uh, the PSD files. It is available today, so go ahead and check it out, and I hope that you enjoy all of the learning you can do in this tutorial. So let's do that to this picture as well. So what you want to do is make a duplicate copy of your background city. We'll just call this city. And there's a lot of different ways to blur your background. But the one that I like to use the best is something called a field blur. So go to your blur gallery and do field blur. And what you want to do is if you've never used field blur, it, it's really cool. Um, you're going to put uh, little pegs everywhere that you want there to be a blur. And then where you don't want there to be a blur, you can put pegs there as well. So we want our background over here to be very blurry. So I'm going to make it go all the way up to like, I don't know, like 50, um, 50 or 60. I'm not sure. Somewhere in this, this area. And um, what I want to do is I want to add some bokeh to it as well. So let's go over here to your right side and then you can add some bokeh. Just move your light bokeh up a little bit and um, you, can, you can adjust it so you can get a lot of bokeh or just a little bit of bokeh. I just want a little bit. I don't want uh, that much, but I do want a little bit there. And you can change your bokeh color um, uh, to, for some other effects as well. Um, our gray, our blend if gray here. And so um, in referencing to this layer, which is the tree layer, um, we can make it not blend um, the darks, or we can make it not blend the lights. So if I was to uh, drag these lights over here, um, everything, um, I'm sorry, if I drag these blacks over here, everything that is black in the image um, would not go through. So as I, as I get closer and closer to gray and to white, all of the dark values in the trees would not go through. Similarly, if I was able to go over here to the, the whites, everything that's white uh, would not go through. So all of your light colors, uh, your light values in uh, this picture would not go through. So that's for this layer. But the underlying layer, um, it's very similar. So if you don't want um, the tree layer to um, blend anywhere that's dark, you would do this. So everywhere that's dark, you don't want the trees to touch, and thus you would drag that one. Or if you don't want anywhere in the, the mountain scene where it's light, you would do that way. So you see here's the fog in the background. We're just saying don't blend if there's fog. Don't blend if there's fog. And uh, there, that, therefore the, um, the trees are not blending at all. 